Now another trading week is drawing to a close right here on Wall Street. The markets, they're winding down. There is some upside this Friday, but for the week, the markets for the most part have struggled. Yes, tech leading the way for the NASDAQ boost this past week. Such a strong boost that the NASDAQ managed to hit all-time highs. And this happening ahead of key earnings. However, again, for the week, it's more about the downside. Both the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones on track to snap a six-week winning streak following a couple of rough sessions to kick off this week. But right now, it's time to shift all of our focus to what lies ahead. We have a new week, a week that welcomes in a new month on Friday, a week that hosts the Halloween holiday. Will we see some spooky moves in the markets as October comes to a close? Or will we actually scare away all of those market goblins and see the markets continue to thrive? You know what, let's take a look right now to see what will likely move the markets in the week ahead. It's a busy one, but not to start. Monday kicks off a bit on the quiet side with both three-month and bill-month auction, three-month bill auctions here in the United States. In addition, the 2024 Japanese general elections will have concluded, so the week technically kicks off on Tuesday, where here in the U.S. we have several key reports due out. The August housing price index expected to remain unchanged 0.1 percent, and jolts of job opening numbers also due out for the month of September. I'll read that schedule to come in at 7.92 million and then on Wednesday that kicks off in Germany with the German unemployment GDP and consumer prices figures all on the docket first German unemployment for October expected to rise to 6.1 percent third quarter preliminary GDP for Germany also do expectations negative 0.1 percent quarter over quarter negative 0.3 percent year over year that's not all out of Germany actually as preliminary October consumer prices scheduled to come in 0.2 percent month over month 1.8% year over year. And keeping in Europe, Eurozone preliminary third quarter GDP also due out. A reading that is expected 0.2% quarter over quarter, 0.8% year over year. And then it's off to the U.S. A busy day indeed. First October private payroll scheduled for release. ADP employment change figures for October expected 110,000. And then there's U.S. third quarter preliminary GDP. That's also due out. Expectations 3% annualized. Then on Thursday, we start off in Japan with the Bank of Japan's interest rate decision, a rate that currently sits at a quarter percent, and then in China, NBS manufacturing PMI. That's due out expectations 50.1. Then over to Europe, we have preliminary harmonized consumer prices due out of the region. EU consumer prices, 1.9% expected year over year, while here in the U.S., September personal spending, personal income, and core PCE. That's personal consumption expenditures price index. They're all due out. That's a key metric of inflation, and core September PCE. PCE expected 0.2% month over month. And then on Friday, we welcome in the month of November by first getting manufacturing data out of China. China's Kaishin Manufacturing PMI expected at 49.5. Well, right here in the U.S., we have ISM Manufacturing PMI expected at 47.6. But it's more about the employment report. It's a new month, new employment numbers, October non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate both await. Non-farm payrolls expected at 140,000. The unemployment rate expected unchanged 4.1%. Meanwhile, November 5th, four days from the upcoming Friday U.S. Election Day, Donald Trump or Kamala Harris going to be a lot of headlines about that during the week which have traditionally moved the markets. So keep an eye on those as well as the latest earnings season. Some big tech names scheduled for release as well. Watch those for market direction. Also, they've been traditional market movers. And until next week, coming at you live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Sweeney reporting for ICF.